そうか。おはようございます。I spent some time on Sunday、um, reviewing my charts and、uh, let's start off with trading view which I know still looks like a mess、um, All right, so after Thursday and then Friday's massive rally, and I'm still.、Um, no, I'm not upset about Friday because I, I sold a little bit early, but I sold at first resistance.、Uh, we blasted a little bit past that first resistance and went to the second resistance and then pulled back by quite a lot and gave, I guess, I don't know if this is a false breakdown, a fake breakdown. Maybe. Well, either way, quickly,、um, buyers stepped in and we made a nice demand here, came back up. There was no close retest, but this kept pushing up until later in the afternoon where we flagged for a bit and then pushed a little bit higher up until close. I have a feeling today's going to be very busy, and to be honest,、uh, I don't know if I want to trade today because after two days of rallying,、uh, I would think today we would likely see a pullback.、Um, but if price, but the fact is,、um, our support is 4285, and we dipped below、um, early Sunday morning, but we've slowly dragged back up again. And、um, I forget what the next target is. I think it's 4296. Okay, why even waste my time? Sorry,、um, I've been getting more and more frustrated about this whole roommate thing.、Um, as usual, I keep getting massive amounts of messages from guys, <clears throat> even though I specifically state on the ad、um, F only. I can't put females because when I put the word female, the people who are behind the app will edit my, my description and take that off. And again, it upsets me because I've seen other、um, women put that. <clears throat> so I guess, <clears throat> I guess if you're a female and you only want to be with other females, that's perfectly fine. I see that all the time. They don't edit that. But if you're a guy and you say you only want a female, that's wrong. They'll take it away. And this is, there's another app that I'm using, and they have a feature where you can, it, put, you, it says preferred gender. And if you click on it, The only thing you can do is flip a tab, yes or no. And if you flip yes, it means that you prefer only your gender. So if you're a male, that means you, only, you prefer only another guy. And if you're a female, you prefer only another female, obviously. But I find that hilarious. And、um, anyway, so some woman texted me at two in the morning or messaged me at two in the morning and said, just put her number. I'm thinking, okay, well, she must be interested. She's going to be giving me her phone number. So before I signed on and started doing my work, I sent her a quick text message and I said, hey, this is such and such with the ad. Are you still interested? And she's like, oh, I sent so many messages. Remind me which one. So I sent her some pictures and I said,、um, just to step ahead of it, because I'm tired of dealing with these. The worst one was a few days ago on Saturday, but I'll get to that in a moment. This one says,、um, She just texts me, yeah, no, with exclamation mark, no thanks. I'm like, okay. So I just deleted her text message. And I'm here thinking, why? why? I, don't, I don't have a lot of patience with myself when I do stupid things. So I have less patience with others, their other, other stupidity. And I, I don't understand. It, my ad says, M looking for F to share. Miami Beach Studio. Okay. What does the M stand for, you think? I mean, let, let, let's, let's scrape two brain cells together and think of what that means. The word share, I, I think it's pretty self description what share means. I, I don't think share has a lot of other meanings. I, I, I don't know how to define it any better. So on Saturday, this, this some girl 
sends me a message not once not twice but three times on on one of the apps and then i respond um you know hey you do understand this is a shared studio text back yes i'm interested can 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 we we can when i can i call you or can something like, or something like that i think she gave me her number so i text her and i and she called me then accidentally hangs up on me i don't know how you do that then calls back immediately and i i'm driving on my way to work out a saturday and i say listen i'm on the road um but i need you to understand just to be clear you understand this is a shared studio that means we're both going to be in the studio and she goes oh okay but do i get my own bed i said yes yes there's a bed there uh that i purchased it's a it's like a tempurpedic bed bed it's foldable um because i don't want to make it obvious that there's two beds in the in the in the studio so i want to get a day bed so that this can be folded up and put out the way during the day if needed and she's like okay i understand so so could you could you could you do me a favor and send me pictures or make a video or can i come by and look at the property i said listen i'm i'm, I'm on the road now but when i get back home yeah i'll try and make a quick video for you and um i get home I make I just do a walkthrough of my phone and make a video of the studio and um, I send it to her and then she responds oh no 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 I'm sorry I'm just while I was on the phone talking to her and I explained to her that it's a shared studio she goes okay but will I get my own bathroom oh my god I, I can't I can't it hurts my brain just just how are how are humans this stupid? How how are they how how do they have the the brain power to breathe and eat and move and focus on life and do things? You would think someone that dumb would just walk into traffic or something. I don't understand the level of stupidity. I I don't I think it's profound. Uh, unless 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 there's a language barrier and they don't know what a studio is. I I wonder if I should on my description say please before sending me a message, please read the title carefully, read the description carefully, and understand the definition of things like shared and studio. What studio has more than one bathroom? I mean, I've, I've, I've lived almost half a century on this planet, and I've never, and I've moved to more than at least... 15, 16 different places since I lost my home. I had to sell my home thanks to my mother making me sell it after I left police work. I've lived in nothing but studios. I had maybe two times I got a one bedroom, one bath apartment. And, and it's been nothing but studios. There are no studios with more than one bathrooms. You might have a one bedroom with two baths or one and a half. But I, that, 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 that could be the only explanation. These people are stupid and they don't understand what a studio is. So I said to her, no, no, there is only one bathroom because it's a studio. And she's like, oh, okay. Could you send me a picture, please, a video, please, when you get home? So I sent her a video and then she responds with this. So, and I told her what the rent is. She asked me what the rent, I said, the rent is going to be 400 per month. But I'm willing to go lower. I'm willing to, to, to go lower within reason if I can find someone that I vibe well with, you know, not someone who um, snores, not someone who steals my stuff, who eats up all my food, like the black girl that I had here before, not someone who just lounges around and lays in bed 23 hours a day, like the girl I had here before and doesn't work, doesn't do anything, just sits there and... <sighs> <sighs> that, that was just so annoying when I'm trying to work or trying to just relax and just to have her there like like a piece of furniture making noise all day no I said I said to her, look I prefer to have someone who actually has a job who gets up and leaves the apartment and works and she said well that's me I probably won't even be home at all I'm gonna be working all day I'll only come home to sleep okay so when I sent her the video, she responds to me, 
Will I be staying in the studio by myself? Is it just me in the studio? So somehow the 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 the, the title shared just went out the vin the window. Somehow the fact that I told her on the phone that it'll be both her and I in the studio again went out the window. And somehow you're dumb enough to believe that you can get yourself a studio in Miami Beach in 2023 for four hundred dollars okay I'm sorry I just wanted to catch up on this email um these people, and, and I've seen ads, they're people who say, oh, I want a room with my own private, I want a furnished room with a private bathroom in downtown, or I want it in Miami Beach. And they'll, their, their budget is like seven fifty. Let me tell you something. After I had to sell my home, and I was stuck living with my parents in 2013, it was a miserable experience. The constant drinking, um, the constant fights, the constant noise, the passive aggressive behavior of my mother, the creepy behavior of my mother, you know, it'll be 12 o'clock at midnight and I'm coming out the shower because it's this townhouse was a, a three bedroom, two bath townhouse. <clears throat> Somehow every time I come out the bathroom in the hallway, my mother just happens to be in there waiting. It really creeped me out. So I started fully getting dressed before I left the bathroom and um, I just needed to get out of there. So when I sold my NSX and I got, you know, 25 grand, that helped me pay for school and helped me find a place to live. So again, it's now 2014, I believe. That's when I started going to, to school. And I found myself a, a studio. It was a basically a house that was converted to three different units, two efficiencies, and one unit was like a two bedroom. The efficiencies were closed off using you know cheap construction but it was still part of the house so if the main part of the house where these two girls lived one of them of course ghetto black girl and some other girl if they turn on their air conditioning unit and if they're smoking cigarettes or smoking weed the vent will go into my unit and I'll still have to smell their stink and I actually took tape and closed the unit the the vent and taped it up because they were nasty. I mean, they, they, I know they have roach issues because there were roaches constantly going into my studio. And I'm very clean. And it was just a miserable experience living there. However, the rent for this studio in 2014, by the way, this studio is half the size of the, what I have here, the studio here, half the size. There was no real kitchen. It was just the kitchen was just a corner of the room. There was no stove. It was a tiny fridge. And I had to buy a burner to, to cook, right? Um, this wasn't off the water. This isn't Miami Beach. This was some ghetto area near this university that I went to. I was paying just under $400 a month for the studio in 2014. So that was almost 10 years ago. Fast forward a few years later, I'm living in a uh, room in a house and this this I wish I I wish and to tell you something if I was if I was if I gained superpowers and became evil I have a long black list of people I need to make suffer I don't care how evil that thought is but I've I've come across most of my life nothing but crap people and that's why I'm very misanthropic this lady rented a room out to me in her home and she that's what she does she has a house in this area and it's not a bad area but she has a house she converted it so that there's like five or I think it was six bedrooms in this house, but only like two bathrooms. So I was sharing a bathroom with two other guys. So there was always urine and feces and nastiness everywhere, pubic hair. I can't tell you how many times I personally got so sick of the nastiness in the house because it was all guys. Because again, remember, society today makes it so that a man and a woman cannot be roommates together. It's it's against the rules. I could I could swear that there were 
TV shows in the 70s and my I think my mother had friends that um when I was a kid that were roommates they lived in a three bedroom home it was like two girls or one guy I don't know why today suddenly it's just it's completely inappropriate now I guess for a man and a woman to be in the same room or same um place together I don't know what's going on with society now but I think it it has something to do with this agenda to push same I don't want to say the word, but uh, playing for the other team, you know, this is a notice is a big push of this agenda, especially in this country um, for that sort of uh, relationship, whatever. I don't know. But um, all guys in this house, one fridge, six guys, one fridge, and there was never room to put food in the fridge. Uh these guys were just nasty as hell. They wouldn't do dishes. It was just a miserable experience. But what was my rent? $700 a month for one bedroom. And it was furnished. But the furniture was, furniture was crappy. The bed, was, the bed was profoundly uncomfortable. It sank in the middle. Springs were... You can feel the springs of the bed digging into your back. Right? Um, There was no TV. There was, you know, a dresser and a nightstand. But... I mean, that's it. Um, yeah, it was a terrible experience, and I was paying over seven hundred. It was like seven fifty, seven twenty a month, and this is twenty sixteen, mind you, twenty sixteen. So, if you think in twenty twenty three that you can get a fully furnished bedroom with your own private bathroom for anything less than fifteen hundred dollars, you're an idiot. Unless unless the person who's renting out the room feels charitable or doesn't really need the money or is asking for some side favor. I don't know. I It just blows my mind. I don't understand. The level of stupidity of, of people today is, is just profound. And I'm not a genius by far. If I was a genius, I wouldn't be studying Spanish and German or whatever on Duolingo for almost two years now and still barely able to communicate with anyone with, with, this, with my efforts. I would be successful to some degree and not a, almost a complete failure with this trading. I'm not a genius. But over the weekend, I realized I'm, I'm so angry at myself for buying this stupid bed, thinking that I can find another roommate. This bed cost me about 150 bucks with shipping. And if I had, instead of buying that, and instead of spending money on these apps to find a roommate, if I had instead took all that money and this bed and put it in this account, and more importantly, I traded smart, I could have probably made $500,000 last week. Look, um, I mean, I, I can't show you now, but remember on Thursday, <clears throat> when, when we had that breakout of the pattern, I took one option at $20 and then sold it for a loss at $18. And, of course, that took $4 out of my account because, you know, Thinkorswim, TD Ameritrade uh, are crooks. And um, that went up to almost $199. So imagine if instead of putting spending money on this crap for a roommate that I'm apparently not going to be able to get now, I instead put that in my account, then I'll be having close to $200, right? And let's say I only had 100 right? If I took, or a little over 100 because I need to pay for commission. If I took, instead of one $20 trade, I took five $20 trades. And if I didn't, you know what? No, screw that. Let's say I took the five at $20 and I sold four at $31, which is where I wanted to sell initially. Okay? So that's 40 bucks made right there. And then I held on to the last one. And it kept going up and kept going up. And then I said, I decided to sell it at a hundred dollars or 120. Let's say I sold it at 120, that one runner. <clears throat> so now that day I made 150 bucks. So now I'm at 250 bucks for Friday. Friday, you saw me take a trade at $19 and I sold it early for $30. Right? But imagine if instead of $19, <clears throat> I took my trade at um no instead of oh my god jesus christ focus you moron imagine if i had taken instead of that one trade at 19 
Oh my god, dude. I'm trying to do two things at once here. Nope, can't afford it. Well, never mind. Screw it. <clears throat> I believe that we're going to hit 430 at some point in SPY, but I'll show you why I think that. Let me just finish my thought really quick. So let's say I started off Friday morning with $200 plus in my account. I bought one option at 19, but instead, let's say I bought 10 at 19, right? And let's say I sold nine out of those 10 at $31. So I made 90 bucks right there. And I held on to the last one um, for a little bit later and made another, I don't know, 50 whatever bucks. My point is, is I could have taken... Um, a hundred bucks and turned it into almost 500 or a thousand bucks depending on, on when I sell for example on Thursday if I had bought if well I, I don't know if I would have had enough money but if I could have bought 10 options at 20 and I would have held all of them till later in the day that was a thousand bucks but <clears throat> my point is 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 if I can get my trading on 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 par appropriately I could make the 400 bucks in one month that I would have made having to sacrifice my privacy and and um, stress to have a roommate here, right? And when that other girl was here, she had I don't I don't think I ever mentioned this. I guess because she was a very heavy person, she was a large person. When she sat on the toilet to 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 urinate, she it would spray on the bottom of the seat. So every time I'll go to the toilet to to urinate myself and me even though i live by myself i lift up both seats because i don't want to i, I want to be clean and um damn you know what i could have gone in at 31 because i think this thing's going to push today maybe for a little bit i think it's going to we're going to hit 430 on spy and then drop down so i really wanted to just do a scalp this morning but i'm sitting here yakking away and i could have gotten it could i get 31 let me see if they will let me yeah, I could have gotten at 31. I, although, to be honest, I don't think I would have been filled. And I can't afford anything lower than that. Um, so yeah, every time I'll go to, to urinate and lift the seat, um, I could see her urine, semi-dried or slimy, kind of dripping down the, the seat. And it's a lot of it. And I would wipe this down. And it was kind of annoying to have to, every time I'll go to the bathroom, wipe someone else's urine. Or sometimes she'll forget to flush and I have to flush for her. And it just was frustrating. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I like living by myself. I don't want a roommate. And if I'm going to have one, I prefer a female. But apparently, that's not going to happen. So, and this, this chick here that messaged me, her, her, I saw her budget. Her budget is $1,000. If, if you think, and I saw where she wants. She says she wants a place, you know, in North Miami Beach, Miami Beach, downtown area. If you think you can find a room for $1,000 a month, I I don't know. I, I truly don't know. I mean, watch this, watch this, watch this. Hold on. This is the site, one of the sites that I'm on. Watch this. We're going to look for a room in Miami, okay? Let's see if I can, if it'll let me do that, because this, this app is kind of asinine. It's supposed to rooms. Rooms for rent in Miami, Florida. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. 1550 Close to Brickell, da 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 da, da. <clears throat> So it's a furnished room in a house. $1,500 for a furnished room in a house. Biscayne, furnished room with own bathroom and condo, 1700 Biscayne Boulevard, furnished room in a condo, $2,100. Miami, furnished room in a house. I don't know where this is. They don't give a this good description. <clears throat> this could be in the ghetto for all I know. You know what? Let's click on it and see if we can figure out where this is. 33142. All right. The, the fact that this person doesn't want to state where exactly this is. Ten minutes from Wynwood. Okay. 
this could be in a ghetto area because that that area of Winwood is um please read we are not clean organized and hygienic if you are not always like this too oh we are very clean anyways whatever point is this isn't even on the beach this isn't some fancy area they want 1275 all right brickle 2000 candle that's like far out west from here 12 1100 okay so you see what i'm saying shared furnished room okay whoa whoa hold on hold on joel's room uh-huh you see the agenda is being pushed see on this website you can you can say that you want this otherwise you just don't have it there's no i don't want this you get what i'm saying i have several rooms for rent in different locations ask me for more information i have a shared room for rent in a three-bedroom apartment the apartment has uh, So it says specifically, it's a shared room. So you're sharing it with someone else. So, so you know, I had one website tell me that take off my ad because I said a shared studio. And they say that they, they won't allow that. They won't allow a shared studio. It wasn't this website, but there's another one. And I'm, I'm like, so why is that a problem? But this guy has that. So, and he's asking 900 for a shared room so you're sharing it with someone else again again i'm asking 400 for a shared room but i guess i guess because i want a female then that makes it a problem that's the issue but you see what i'm saying here guys i'm asking nothing i'm asking dirt cheap and all i keep getting is other guys but I wouldn't doubt 80% of those guys are as dumb as that girl that I talked to over the weekend. And um, she seems to think that you can get a, a a studio in a building just off the ocean of my, in Miami Beach, in the heart of Miami Beach, for $400 a month. And when she sent that message, I sent back to her. I, I tried to be calm. I said, no, period. Studios in this building range from 2000 to $2,500 a month. This is, again, a shared studio. Last I heard from her, so I deleted her as well. But you see you see my frustration? How can you be that dumb? How can a human being be so profoundly stupid? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm stop venting. All right, Adam and he tweeted while I was running my mouth. After last week's now routine 100 point Friday rally, ESF hit my 428085 weekly target and has been building a bull flag as posted. The sideways chop on Friday's high since 4304, almost there. Hold on, let me switch this from SPY to ES. Okay, so we almost hit 4300, which I assume will be a psychological level. What I was hoping for is we come back down and test this line this morning and then we bounce. If that had happened, I could have gotten in below 30 and then sold at 50. That's what I was hoping for this morning is for a pullback here. This is one of the May clones that I've, I've pushed up again, the May low clones. Um, all of these clones, I've made another one here. And 4285 is support. So yeah, that's what I was hoping for. A pull back down to there, but I guess that's not going to happen. And you can see on SPY, I just removed all of our levels. I just got rid of all of them, and I just redid my weekly whatever levels again. Let me try and pull back to a 1030. Okay, that really made no difference. Maybe a 94. So I made some clones here for my own May low. Um, oh no, this is a March low. Yeah. And you can see where they kind of, um, they touch. So I think ultimately we're going to touch the top of this one eventually. Um, I don't know when this is like four, three, eight, and we might have a pullback or this is August high August from last year. That's where I think that's going to be our target right now before we get any kind of pullback. But who knows? I could be wrong about that. 
Um, so yeah, I'm done with the whole levels on trying to get my levels to match on ES and Spy, because as I've said many times before, it changes. You know, we might be at 4,300 4, right now on ES, and I could mark it here. But two weeks from now, that's, that's going to be off. Two weeks from now, when ES hits 4, let's see, 4280, 4280 is going to be here. Where this That's going to be where SPY is at the same time. You get what I'm saying? Somehow, the levels change over time. So, I'm done doing that. I'm just focusing on dailies, hours, four hours. Then I put my markers there. Speaking of which, the next big level is up here. So maybe we get a pull back here. Maybe we break out here, bounce off of here, and pull back on this. I don't know. <clears throat> That's assuming my trends and my lines are even accurate. I, I like to believe they are, but who knows. All right, let's go back to ES. Damn it, focus, man. Sorry. As usual, did not sleep well. Had a dream about my ex for some reason, the one from Canada. I don't know why I dreamed about her. To sum up that relationship, we never even met. Um, because of circumstances why I had to leave in 2013 my police work, travel for me is not possible. I just can't do it financially, and I don't even have my passport. Um, I never renewed it since I was a kid, uh, which tells you that I've never really traveled. I never enjoyed that luxury of just going somewhere like Europe or whatever, as much as I would love to. So she could have come down here. She has plenty of money. Money wasn't an issue for her. What she did instead was kept making excuses as to why she couldn't come. Um, and I believe it's because she knew if I actually saw her in person, I wouldn't be attracted to her, which is probably true. I'm, I'm just not attracted to overweight I mean, fitness has been my thing my entire life. So I'm not really attracted to girls who appear to not work out. I mean, there are some women out there, some females out there that have a decent physique and they don't really work out. It's just genetics. But that that's rare. But um, like my Russian client, you know, she doesn't really work out, but she still has a pretty good physique. Um, with a great deal of potential if she worked out, but she just doesn't have the willpower to do it, clearly. I mean, she's been on vacation for two weeks, and I haven't heard from her. Um, and I probably won't. I guarantee you I won't hear from her for like another six months, and she'll just return back to her bad habits. But, um, so anyways, she, she and I ended up breaking up because after almost two years of talking and her not coming down here, and she just kept making excuses... And I got tired of it. Plus, she's also insecure and loves attention. Well, I mean, I guess most females do. But the way she got her attention, instead of posting pictures of herself in bikinis and Instagram, she played lots of video games and liked making friends with lots and lots of guys. And she'll, you know, make little, little innuendo jokes. See, look at this. Yeah, you know what? I should have picked a strike further out. I looked at it this morning. And this was 18 this morning, so I could have got in here. The risk is I can get in now if this thing decides to push. Let's see. This is risky. I'm going to put a tight stop loss if need be. I'm hoping I can get filled at 27 before it pushes up higher. Once we've reached that psychological level. That's my worry though. We've reached psychological level and now it might pull back and fall. Come on, turn around please and push. Don't come back now. Of course, we've been grinding up all day, but the moment I get in, it turns around. But anyways, um, 
I noticed she kept adding more and more guys on her on her profile for Xbox and spending lots of time playing with these guys. So while I'm at work, she's at home, you know, in party chats with a bunch of other guys, flirting with them, talking with them, and I just got tired of it. And it, it made me pull away from her, and she just, the more I pulled away, the more guys she would end up talking to, and we just both called it quits. But um, shortly after that, she really upped her game on meeting more and more guys, and um, she won't post a picture. Oh, she yeah, she did. She posted a picture of herself on her on Xbox, and it showed lots of cleavage and lots of makeup. Again, an attempt to get attention. And all right, this is not looking good. I think I'm gonna exit soon, guys, because I was hoping this can continue its push. But I think it's reached that psychological level at 4,300 and won't push back further. Although Adam Mancini did say, if I recall, I hate Twitter, man. 4304, 4315 is the major one, so it should go up a little bit higher, but it looks like it's not going to do it, or it may just chop sideways before doing it. <sighs> unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Should have gotten earlier and then exited. All right, I'm leaving at 23. It's going to be a $4 loss, but so be it. Yep. I was also, I, I didn't mention, I forgot, but I was also noticing that on VIX, we've just created a nice fat green candle. So this was stupid. So just to recap, this, this, let's make sure I didn't get um up. Oh, another guy is messaging me on the uh, on the app, so you know it's got to be for me since it's a guy. Uh, 27, I got in, and I left at 23, so that's four dollars, five dollars with commission. All right, I was at 31 dollars, and I forget what cents. Oh. You guys know the routine, right? Any Wherever I put my stop loss, that's where it'll reach. And then it'll turn back around. So let's see if that actually happens. So that's a 14% loss for the day. Yeah, $4 plus another dollar for the commission. All right, so they didn't steal money from me this time. Yeah, it looks like I decided to get in at the worst time. I should have got in right at the bell. I should have picked one one strike out. If I could have gotten it at 18, I could have sold at 29. I don't know if I would have been filled or at least put my stop at 26 and made a few bucks for the day. So instead of losing a few bucks, I could have made a few bucks. But on VIX, this thing just keeps rising. This is where we pushed and it just turned around and we're, we're going up, but now, I don't know, it seems like it's not going anywhere. I did readjust the VIX as well here. I don't know, again, if I did the right thing, if my lines are proper. Oh, no, no, I didn't do it here. I'm sorry. I did it for um, trading view, but like I said, you know what I was thinking? I think I did mention it on Friday when we reached our high on Friday. I thought this would be a good time to take it short, but I was wrong. If you did take it short, I hope you would have to take it short with an expiration further out because it obviously hasn't gone down today. I mean, if anything, it's gone up. Sorry, hold on, 515, zoom in, okay. <clears throat> yeah, that was stupid for me to do that. I just lost money for no reason. I should have gone long at the bell once we started cracking. Or oh, I should have held my original plan, which was to see if we can reach back down and retest right here. Mm, so that was a stupid move. Well, my trading day is done. I got no more money to trade anymore.
And um, so, yeah, man, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and waste your time venting anymore. Um, let's take a quick look at VIX on... So I still have the, wait, let's zoom out to uh, four hour. I, I have the megaphone here. And I guess technically we have rejected from it, but now we're pushing back down again. So I don't know, but oh my God. Okay. Nope. All right. I guess I have to go back further. Let's go to a daily. I think I marked down the ultimate low for the day. I mean, for the, all right, let's go to a, 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 a weekly. Jeez. Okay. Here we go. This is the, this is the ultimate low of VIX, which was like 2017. I mean, I don't know what was going on with the market was going so great in 2017. And then suddenly this huge drop here on 18th. I mean, on, on 28, January 2018, I don't know what happened there. We all know what happened here. This is our COVID. Oops, I shouldn't have said that, but whatever. This is the drop in March. Um, so, yeah, we are now just, I guess, flagging perhaps for another push further. Or we might retest this four hour or the daily, I think. I don't know. And I made these clones here. Uh, I forgot what prompted me to do that, but I noticed the pattern. I noticed some sort of descending pattern here that seemed to line up in several areas. So I suspect, oh no, we did. We, we hit that. So we hit that pattern here and then started off Sunday here. And it's just slowly grinding down, which is bullish, I suppose. But whatever. Anyways, I screwed up today, took a loss. Oh, but look, it looks like it looks like my screw up was just getting into the trade period, not so much the selling. And that's some, this is the reason why sometimes I sell a position before Adam and Sini's target, because sometimes we don't reach the target. Because he said, I think, 43.04 or 43.05 was his target. And actually, it turned out to be 43.01. We formed a supply, and now we're dropping. Now, if I had instead, instead of taking this trade up here like a fool, but I thought that because we broke that psychological level of 4,300, that we might push a little bit higher. I was wrong. But what I should have done if I hadn't traded here is I would wait to see if we form either a demand that gets retested or we get a bounce at VWAP here. Or I suppose we could get a bounce at VWAP on SPY, but we're below VWAP on SPY now. Or we retest this level or a previous level that might have been formed pre-market. So I jumped the gun too early, but I was trying to just scalp, you know, maybe f a few bucks here and there. I just wanted to get my $32 up to maybe like close to 40 But anyways, I failed and that was a loss. So one, one, one might argue you could have taken it short once we, you know, fell below the psychological level. But remember, with puts, it needs to really move. So let's say I got in, I could have gotten in at, I don't know if I can get in at 427. Let's see. Yep, yeah, I could have. I could have gotten here at 27, 28, even 30, and then sold at 41. So yeah, the put would have worked here. Oh, well, I screwed up, guys. And I think I've made this video long enough. What is this? Almost like an hour of me rambling. I just, I wonder if I can return this mattress for my money back and I can put that money in here. But there is, there is the one girl from up north that came down here to visit and still wants to be here. And I spoke to her on Friday um, because she sent me a message asking if she's able to leave here early. Could I go drive up to where she is and pick her up? And I told her I could. Um... And, you know, she's she's living a difficult life, uh, basically sleeping on a mattress on the floor and in a home with a large family and she gets no privacy. So <clears throat> I guess my 
a little bit of simp inside of me wants to help her out, but I, the worry I have is, um, she doesn't, she doesn't have a job here yet, <clears throat> so when she comes down here, she's got to find a job, and I don't know how easy that will be, and if she doesn't find a job, how is she going to pay, unless she has money saved up, so I got to put that charitable part of me aside and think more in terms of, um, practicality. But so far, she's the only person that's been very interested to... Well, there's been one other person, but that, that, that lady creeped me out. So, no. Um, that's a long story. But anyways. Yeah, man. Oh, and Vix, I'm just looking in the corner of my eye. It's still, it's still grinding up a little bit. No, actually, no. I take that back. It's been this it has looked the same way this entire time. Big green candle with a wick on the top, and it just hasn't changed. Weird. All right, done. I'm out of here. I'm gonna I'm not gonna make much more videos because I've already made this long enough, and I'm just pissed that I've already lost money for the day. So. What can I do? I shouldn't have traded. I, t I said it this morning. I said I'm probably not going to trade because this is going to be um, a very difficult day to trade. And it's going to be unpredictable. There's no edge. And there it is. I am going to mark this supply, though, for now. And I'm actually curious if this will line up anywhere else, but I, I don't know. I probably will be able to see it better if I do it on trading view. In fact, I want to do that just real quick. I want to look at trading view and see if there's something significant about that area where we pulled back. I don't have a trend line or or should I pull the reason why I put this one here is because we lined up here, here and here. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to leave that. So I want to see if this lines up with some other level. Not this one, this one here. I'm going to erase it in a second, but I, I want to see if it lines up any, with another level. Let's look at the daily. Okay. So it looks like this was this was, yeah, so it, it rejected here and here before Oh, you know what I forgot to do as well? I forgot to adjust my 200 DMA and 50 DMA levels because they're definitely not in the right spot. All right, let me get rid of that one. Wait, wait. How do I do that? This, right? No, that's not it. All right, whatever. I'll just go back and remove it from where I put it. I mean, the supply definitely formed here. But this is where it was supposed to go. For I even I didn't add this, this level, the Adam and Tini put 4304, which is where he thought it would go. I had this level from before, so I generally thought we might reach up to this spot. That's why I took that trade. I thought we might push up a little bit higher, and I can go from 27 to maybe 37, and then just scalp a, a quick sell, um, and make a little quick profit and I would have been I would have been content for that for the day because I didn't think it's gonna go much higher but we didn't quite make it there but we may end up forming a demand and then pushing higher after all later so um, what else what else there's something else I want oh yes yes so I wanted to change my 200 DMA and it's frustrating the only way I can do that is to get rid of okay so if I remember the yellow wait I got to go back to the daily obviously if I'm doing DMA Yellows are 200, aquas are 50. Fortunately, now I gotta find it in this mess. 50 DMA. Okay. It's now here. And the yellow, 200 DMA. See, I gotta be honest, I don't know how they, they moved so far out of place. I, I just don't understand that. I've the last time I did this was like maybe a couple of weeks ago, but I 
for it to be for the 200 day to be way up there i think what might have happened is when i was moving some lines around i might have um accidentally moved it myself and i should probably change the color so the 50 dma was here I figured out this weekend also that I can add my own color, so I'm I want to see if I can do that. First of all, let's make this a little bit bigger. And let's see if I can add my own color. I don't know what color would be prop would be proper. Uh, that works. I think that stands out. But if, hold on, hold on, hold on. If this yellow is the 50 DMA, no, that's the 200. So I should use aqua for the 50 DMA, shouldn't I? You know what? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, where's the 200 again? Bloody hell. I think it's way up. No, it was way below. God, dude. Where was the 200 again? Okay, way down here. So which one's for the 200 DMA? Is it this one? Yeah, well, what a terrible color. All right. So the 200 DMA is going to be... Maybe we'll do yellow. And this definitely needs to be thicker. That, that yellow sucks. Oh, because I have it faded. Okay. All right, so we'll go back to daily, take off the, what is this? Okay, so 50 and 200. All right, so it looks like we bounced off the 50 last week, Tuesday, and then on Wednesday, Let's see, but let's see if that actually lines up and I put this back. Let's go to a 30. And where is the 50 again? Here. It was an exact bounce. This is Wednesday. And Tuesday. Is it not an exact bounce because I didn't put it in the right spot or is it because I changed the time frame? Oh my god, dude. Okay. Let's try this again. I mean, it's up there now. Okay, so that's why. That's why it doesn't line up when I go to a 15, because I moved it to where it is now. But back then, the line would have been down here, obviously. So. That's Adam and Sini again. So yeah. This more than likely on Tuesday and, and oh wait, Wednesday? Is it Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday and Thursday. This more than likely bounced at the two of, so, so that means I would have the confluence of, I would added this purple line afterwards. These are clones that I added at Messini has, but we would have bounced at the May low clone. I had that before. And an important level, which was 4181. I don't know why I still have that red. I should just get rid of some of the other ones. But anyways, um, I should only just maybe keep the major levels that Adam and Cini gives and take away some of the smaller levels, but <sighs> whatever. Anyways. Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why does it look like we hit 4304 here? Wait, is this a new candle? Hold on. You mean while I was here yakking away? Did we come back up? Oh my goodness. So wait, let's go back to the, the option I had before. It was the 431. Look at this, guys. We had a sudden rise, a sudden jump. It went up. It finally hit Adam and CD's 4304 target, but fell. So that means... <laughs> That means if I had, oh my god, dude. 
So a demand was formed, and then we started a new candle at 10 o'clock, and somehow in four minutes, this thing rocketed up to 43.04. So if I had gotten in here, that would have been the right move. So remember what I said? I said, yeah, watch we form a demand. We, we, I said, watch, we form a supply, but watch we form a demand later, and then we retest it. We break through the supply. So I'm getting rid of this. Although, no, I shouldn't, because technically we didn't close below the, above it. And Adam Asini just tweeted. Every time he, t he tweets this tweet with this with this message, I always get upset. It's not him, but it's just, it, I never, I'm never on the winning side of the trade when he tweets this. Excellent follow through. And today's 4304 first target ESF hit exactly. Traders know the drill now. Continue trailing stops up from Friday. 4315 next. And then 4333. Great. Wonderful. Whatever. However, unfortunately, I was still in the trade. I exited. And even if I still was, there's no guarantee I would have been filled here. I probably wouldn't have been. Let me switch this to... No, this is the one minute. <laughs> Such a moron. This, it really quickly touched it and came back down. The only way you could have taken advantage of it is if you were in, let's say, a closer in the money option. Nope. Even that wouldn't have worked. So here's what I should have done. I should have picked the 430 strike, not gone in when I did, waited till a pullback this morning, could have gotten here at 25, and could have sold here at 45. And that would have been the play. But instead I jumped the gun, I got on a little bit too early in anticipation that this candle would make its way to 4304. But unfortunately, that's not what happened because you know, the moment I got into a trade, it started falling to make sure I got out of it. Then it turned around and started going back up. Well initially now it's back down again so who knows it, this this could fail for all i know but this was the move and i missed it so anyways man this video is already long enough as it is i'm out of here so i just got in trouble because i calendared a court date for tomorrow june 6th when in fact it was today june 5th and this is not a mistake I commonly make. I can only recall maybe one or two other times I countered something on the wrong date. Um, but nonetheless, I hate making mistakes and I seem to do them on a regular basis. Um, not the same mistake, of course, but just, uh, and I'm, I'm, I hate when I do that. And again, I said, I don't like stupidity, especially in myself, but, um, it's hard to get angry at myself for making these mistakes. Cause I filed this in April. And if I recall, this was April, the end of April. If I recall, um, I think that's when I had that girl here, that first roommate. I think it took about three weeks for her to leave, if I recall. And I think at that time, I think this is around the time where she stole my things and I was just extremely upset. Um, I'm trying to remember. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, this was before she left. I mean, this is after she had left, actually. But yeah, this is when I was trying to find another roommate now, and this is when I was frustrated about the money I lost because of her. And this is when the landlord was getting on my case about having to get the measurements of the windows and all this other stuff. So I was under a lot of stress back then. And I don't even think I bought a new pillow then, so I was my sleep was even worse then. But these are all excuses. Um, I just I have no focus. I. For me, focusing, working, reading, doing my language lessons, it's like having to really flex a mental muscle that's just fatigued and exhausted. And, um, but still, something as simple as putting the right date, there's no reason for that, but 
I can't help but wonder if the reason why I put the wrong date was because someone told me this is the date, but I don't know. Anyways, remember this morning I said that I wanted to see a retest of this this um, low, this March or May clone, whatever it is. Well, there it is. We got it. This demand was already destroyed, and remember what I said, even though we peaked up here, uh, I guess the selling pressure was pretty intense, and we this demand didn't hold, and we closed below, so this supply still holds. Now, we're forming another demand, but I think I would, what, what I wanted was to test, was to go long here. But you can see, even at 430, and we're at 428 right now, even if one had gone long here, at the retest of this level here, if you got in let maybe at 20, even though we've made this much progress, you wouldn't be that much in profit, unfortunately. You maybe you would have made 10 bucks if you got the bottom and sold at the top. But this isn't much of a move. But it could be. We could end up retesting the supply again. Um and maybe this will go from 27 to I don't know, maybe maybe 38, maybe 36. Maybe even 40, I don't know. I don't think so, though, at this point. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just frustrated at myself. I'm, I have layers upon layers of frustration. Can't find a new roommate because the females are absolutely delusional, as usual. The, the, the notion that you think you can get a private bathroom. I've seen, again, I've seen it. They'll, they'll post the pictures of themselves, like, posing all, looking all cute. And then they'll say, I need a private room and a private bathroom and girls only. And their budget is seven fifty. <laughs> Just and, and it has to be downtown Miami, Brick Gold, just so you know, some of the expensive areas of Miami. Where a studio in those areas will probably cost you around twenty five hundred dollars. If you want a studio with parking, three thousand dollars. And I, I just, I don't understand. There, I think I said it before. There's a hostel across the street here. There's a hostel. Um, I forget what it's called. The Salt Shaker or Pepper pa pepper Baker or whatever. And um, I, I could probably see it from here. And they are charging. And the, the last roommate I had said that she stayed there once. And it was like over two years ago. And they were charging like 30 bucks a night to stay there. And... I remember I was talking to my other friend about it, and he said that sometimes they can charge as much as 50, 60 a night to stay there. But let's say it's only 20 a night, right? Let's, let's say they only charge you 20 bucks a night to stay there. Well, if you stay there for a month, right? And let's say there's 20 days in a month, even though we know there's 30. Well, let's just say there's 20 days. 20 times 20 is 400, right? So... Hold on. So, if you were staying at the hostel, you would be better off staying with me and um, paying, you'd be paying much less than $20 a month. I think I did the math once. If you divide it by 30 days, I'm charging basically $12 a day. $12 a day. And if you work, uh, if you get up and work a normal nine to five job, you get up in the morning, you're gone. You don't have to deal with me. You do your work. When you come back in the evening, I'll probably be coming home from working out or training a client. I wish that I wish I can say that, but I have no clients now, unfortunately. And um, you know, we only have to deal with eat with each other for a few hours, and I go to bed relatively early, eleven thirty, twelve o'clock at night. Well, early for me. Um, and hey, whatever, man. I think that's a great deal. I don't think I'm asking for a lot. And the way this one girl acted, yeah, no, with exclamation mark, thanks. Go, 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 go F yourself, for real, you arrogant piece of crap. And the girl didn't even say, like, hi, my name is, she just, all, in her message, all she did was just send her number. She just posted her number. Just the arrogant entitlement, man. But here we go, guys. This is what I should have done. 
I, sh I made a plan this morning. I should have stuck with it. I wanted to see a retest of this level. We got it. I could have got in at 1920 and sold at 30, 31, 32. Done. Done. 10 bucks made. Or if I had a decent sized account, I could have said, all right, you know what? I'm going to put my buy in at or below this level. Okay, we tested it. Look, we, how, many, how many times we tested this thing? 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. So let's say I, I get in again at 20. 10 options at 200. I decided to sell at 31 so I can pay for the commission. There we go. We got to 32. So 31, I would have definitely been filled. 100 bucks made right there off of a $200 investment. Done, done. And if I can just make four trades like this in the entire month wouldn't have to do deal with the roommate thing actually speaking of which the girl that i do want the girl that does want to move here sent me a message on the insta of graham uh, at least i thought she did That's weird. It when I pull down on the phone, it shows that she sent me the message. But then when I go to Instagram, it's gone. So she she must have deleted the message. Cuz it said it was sent 24 minutes ago. Okay. Well, what little part of the message I, it said, it said she wanted to come get picked up on the 17th, but I couldn't see what month because it was only showing me some of the message. <laughs> Why is it still showing me the text message from that girl after I've deleted it? Why would you send me, show me a pop-up of a message that I've already read and I've already deleted? Why is Apple such a moronic, just stupid, man. Just so stupid. I'm going to ask her, did you send and then delete a message on Insta? Yep. So she's apologizing to the clients because of my mistake. And she's saying that in 14 years of being an attorney, she's never missed a hearing. So I screwed up. I don't know how I messed up. I don't know how I put it on the 6th, even though it was on the 5th. I don't know how I messed that up. God, man. I don't, I don't get how sometimes I can be such an absolute fuck up and just completely be stupid.
Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea how I messed that up. But again, there was, I can recall at least two other occasions where I put something on a calendar and it was the wrong date. And I had to be, they had to tell me, hey, you have this schedule on this day. I think it really should be this day. And I don't know how I messed it up. But that probably doesn't help that I don't sleep well. I'm stressed the hell out. I don't make enough money to survive. I'm living check by check. I eat one meal a day and I'm dealing with the stress of trying to find a roommate so I can um, I can afford to survive. I mean, my car hasn't had an oil change, I think, in almost a year and a half. I need to do that, and I don't really have the funds for it. I want to take my car for a car wash because it hasn't been washed in about a month and a half, two months. But I decided, no, I need to go to the grocery store. And I went to the grocery store yesterday, and it was about a hundred and something dollars I spent on groceries. And again, I tried to buy enough groceries to last me until the end of next week or at least the next 12 days, 15 days, but I know it probably won't. But again, these are all excuses. It's, it's a simple thing. The date is written on there. How do I put it on the wrong date on the calendar? I'm just an idiot. That's the only explanation. Oh, man. I'm sorry, guys. I haven't really been updating as much, but I do want to keep this video short today since I ended up losing money today when I shouldn't have. I mean, I said it this morning. I said I would like to see a retest of this trend line here and take it long to 4300 because we opened pretty much close to 4300 and I'm again in my defense we started rallying when the bell rang and it looked like we were going to reach the first target but we didn't um I ended up getting in at the worst possible time when it was about when it was about to turn around so uh sorry I'm just I'm just so between this, between the the issues with trying to find a roommate, but although I did speak to the girl that's going to be moving here, and she said she is ready to move this month, so that's actually good news. And I do like her, but I need to not like her too much because that um, that that boundary needs to be put in place. And she's already explained to me that she wants that boundary put in place, so. I need to f be practical and focus on just getting the money. And the other issue is, again, I got to talk to her about her getting... But you know what? It shouldn't be hard for her to find work here in in Miami Beach. Um, at least at least not too hard to find work that she can afford to pay the rent, I would think. I, I am asking for a ridiculously low amount, but I'm trying to be fair. And also, I recognize the fact that, you know, this is a shared studio. And, um, anyways, so it came back, it bounced here as I hoped it would, and we made it back to, um, the supply that formed this morning. So this would be a good spot to sell. So let's say again, hypothetically, we got in here at 20 and you put your stop loss at like 17, which would, it would never have been filled. I mean, although technically speaking, we already reached, um, the sell point here at 1053 so if you got in at 20 and you want to sell at 20 I mean 31 to pay off the commission or maybe 32 or whatever for in fact I don't even think it makes sense to even hold a runner at this point since we're so overextended you would have just sold everything here at 31 and made your 10 bucks on one option or hundred dollars on um on multiple options and on VIX you can see here, I was hoping also we can reach this weekly on VIX, but we didn't quite do it. Um, I may actually adjust uh, that, and I gotta change this. Current low of the year is going to be here now. So we almost reached a three-year low on VIX, <laughs> considering 
the way the market is now this is definitely forward thinking um but whatever um i was saying i'd want to see a retest of the weekly but i guess technically we did test it so i might adjust this slightly i mean that's not a big deal but whatever um i wanted to see a retest of the weekly this morning but we didn't but we did get the retest of that trend here now i don't have this trend on my trading view i have to admit um I, I don't know why it shows clearer on thinkorswim than it does here so i don't know um let me try an experiment and see if i can clone one of them and bring this one down to here ah okay there it is that makes more sense Yeah, there it is. Um, speaking of which, I'm sorry, I'm going to clone it one more time. And I want to see if I can get a touch point here. So I'm wondering if that's going to be the next target. Or... Was that the target initially all along? Is that why? Hold on, sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I know I'm putting a lot of crap on the screen, but let me just... One more clone, sorry. This one, please. Right here. No, it doesn't line up either way. Okay, I think I might have saturated this thing with too much trends. Let's take off that last one and that clone. Okay. I'm not sure what what the significance of 434304 is, but um, I trust Adam Mancini's level. I would like to ask him, but I, I he doesn't typically answer those questions when I ask him. Um, so I need to figure it out on my own. But anyways, come on, reset anyways yeah I got the retest of that trend and it came back up to test the supply at 4300 and it fell so yeah it, the market gave me exactly what I wanted I should have been patient and just let it happen but I guess this this rally that happened this morning really um, definitely faked me out I wonder how many other people got burned and faked out thinking this is gonna push and rally to 4304 on its own or maybe even make it to this um that trend above now i assume on vix we will eventually make our way down to this line this was this is one of the megaphones um i think more than likely this one though because this megaphone i might remove this one in fact if we don't reject here uh i'm going to or bounce here i'm going to remove this megaphone i forget how many bounces we've had there but i don't think it's very many well for either of the bottom ones to be honest uh let me zoom it back to this that's the origin first test yeah so it was this is this this top megaphone it was where we, we rejected and um you know what i might yeah it can't hurt sorry I'm making a duplicate here as well. I think right here would be good. Okay. Um, we rejected off this first level of the megaphone here and uh, rejected or bounced, whatever. So, yeah, if, if we get another rejection there, I'm keeping it there. Bounce there, I'm keeping it. But if we don't, I'm going to get rid of it. But I have a feeling we may end up bouncing here. If that's the case, then that's still bullish. We still have more room to grow on the, um, on the, for the bullish side. But anyways, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One of the books I'm reading, one of the books, the only book I'm reading of this, it's a psychological book. But this guy, every now and then, when he's talking, when he's comparing psychology, where I guess he's a, he's a psychiatrist. 
and he he tries to make um, mirrors or connections between how he deals with his clients and how he deals with his own emotions and how he trades. And it's one of the books recommended by, I think, either Adam Mancini or, or Chat GPT. But um, it is a good book so far. And he was saying that one of the things that you need to do as a trader is if you're trading um, futures, if you're trading the ES, you need to look and focus on many of the stocks that really affect ES and watch how they are moving. So if ES is going down, but these some of these stocks are going up, <clears throat> then that's indication that he calls it meta communication and he, he mirrors it or he, he, he explains that it's analogous to when you're talking to someone and yes, their words are transferring the data and thoughts to you, but their body language is giving you meta communications. So indirect communication that you should listen to. So a person might say, yes, yes, please tell me this story that you want to tell me. But, you know, they could be fidgeting and not looking at you and not paying attention and sighing. I mean, none of these are obvious examples, but clearly this person, even though they state they stated that they want to hear your story, their body language says that they don't. Does that make sense? So I guess he was saying that, um, like, say, for example, that ES is rallying, but Amazon, Apple, Microsoft are are all falling. But Tesla is the only one that's going up. Well, that could mean that this rally is not really legit and that we may top out and we turn around and then um, Tesla may end up falling along with everything else, I guess. I, I don't know. So I guess my point is, is for most of the morning, um, I should have been looking at, well, you know what? Who knows? That, how, how, would the, how would this have changed my play today? If these were all showing green this morning when I went long on um, ES then how would I have known? Actually, you know what? Here's how I'd know. Let's see. Let's take a look at Apple. Watch. I bet you every one of these stocks that are, you know, Tesla, Microsoft, Amazon, Apple are going to show a similar pattern here. So we're going to go to a five minute so we can see a more focused view. And let's look at Apple. Rally and then fall. Amazon. Ah, Amazon fell. Wait, no, this is pre-market. So here we go. Amazon was a bit shaky. And the second candle, no, no, this is, a, this is a five minute. So yeah, Amazon started to fall, but then turned around. You know what? Let's go back to a 15 minute candle. That would make it easier so we can see a perfect mirror. So Apple, rally, and then fall. Not as strong as a fall as ES showed. Amazon, rally, and then same thing as Apple. Microsoft, rally and then fall and then we started going up and then Tesla rally and then fall and Tesla looks like it's, it's holding things back right now we're just some sort of news report on Tesla here I don't get it mm. and this is something that um Kpax did he would track the levels of multiple stocks and then I, I, from what I figured, he would determine a point of a reversal for, let's say, SPY or QQQ based on many of the other stocks. So if, let's say, Microsoft was at a major level or major trend or resistance level, and the same thing with Amazon and Apple, and they were all approaching a resistance level, like, let's say, a monthly resistance level, then he would justify taking it short based on all of those analyses of all of those charts. And I was doing that, but um, I, I stopped doing it because it was just so much effort, so much work, so much time. And there has been, when I was doing it, it was last year when I did it, there were times where I'm like, okay, I don't get it. Um, Apple's at a resistance. Amazon's at a resistance with the trend line here. This should do this and this should do that. And it doesn't happen. And ES ends up doing its own thing anyways. So I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if how much is too much of an analysis, how much information is too much is overload. And I honestly much prefer just focusing on, um, hold on, let me go back to 
I much prefer just focusing, doing what Adam Mancini does, focusing on the trends and the levels and just being done with that. That's it. So anyways, um, yeah, this, here it is. Finally, we're at this level. We're at the megaphone now, and it looks like we're having a rejection. But we would have already have sold back hair if we went long. So I screwed up today, guys. I'm sorry. Um, just, just a layer. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fuck up cake. Layers upon layers of screw ups. Man, I, I gotta get it right. I gotta get it right. I, I gave myself a plan, and I and when it when it left this morning, I should have been like, all right, you know what? So what? So be it. I'm gonna wait for it to come back and retest this area. Then I'll take it long. And if I had done that and paid attention, I mean, hell, let's say I got in at 30, at 18, right? I could have got in at 18 and sold at 30. So whatever, who cares? 20, 30, I could have made 10 bucks today. Could have made 10 bucks a day and taken my account from 32 to 42. But instead, I screwed up. Like like an absolute idiot, I took the 31 strike, which I'm going to guess is probably worthless now because of the fate of the K. And I, went, I got in at 27. Oh, you know what? I didn't think of that. There was a point where I was a couple dollars in profit and I didn't sell. But, I mean, how, how would I have known it would turn around? And then I sold at 27. But, or no, no, was it 24? No, it was 23. 23. Yeah. It was here. At some point here it turned around. Anyways, this is a long video. I'm sorry, guys. All right, quick update on the VIX. Um, you can see here still this supply that formed this morning is still being respected unable to get past it and if you were long you definitely would have sold here and if you were thinking about going short this might be the time I don't know but there it is we got the bounce at VIX um, on that first level microphone as I thought we would well I may screw up a bunch of things because I'm an idiot but sometimes my levels and my trends do seem to work or this could be an absolute coincidence and it just happens to make it look like I'm right, but maybe I'm wrong. But if I back up a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit, a little bit, a little more than a bit, um, oh, it doesn't matter. Because, and like I said, it, we did bounce from that level before, but you know, now look what happens on Thinkorswim when I back, when I change the time frame. At least it looks the same in both the 115 as it does in the 515 so that's something but yeah so we're turning back around so if you went in at 18 and you didn't sell here um, and I again on a day like today I don't see the point in having runners just scalp and take what you can and something else I've learned from Adam and Sini, and he said it many times and he said it in his newsletter let's say I did have a large account and this is the mistake I made when I was losing lots of money last year, um, on days where you expect chop, go small. So if I had a fat $30,000, $50,000 account um, on days like Thursday and Friday, you want to go heavy. You want to go long, like when I did. So on Thursday, I screwed up completely. I should have gone long before the breakout of that pattern. But um, I shouldn't have sold as early as I did. I, I've just panicked and sold. But had I gone long, either before the break or when I did go long, you do want to go long heavy. And again, like I said before, if I, got, if I went long 10 options at 20 for 200, sold 9 of them, or you know what, sold 8 of them at 31. And yes, it did go up to 31, actually. When I first took the trade, you guys saw it. It went up to 31, but I never got filled. So unfortunately, my one option just didn't get filled. But um, 
it did come back up again. And if I had sold my 10 options, eight of my 10 options at 31, I would have gotten 80 bucks, including the commission, because 10 times eight is 80. And then if I held on to the last two options and let it run for the rest of the day, I could have made another 200 bucks just on those two options if I sold at 121. And remember, it went up as high as 199. So, and even if I caught a smaller piece of the move, those other two options could have given me another <clears throat> hundred bucks. <clears throat> if, if let's say I sold at um, 70 instead, 71, right? So those are the days you want to go heavy. But on days like today where it's chop, I probably would only want to trade maybe two options at best. So today's, if I follow today's plan and I got in at 20, you know, I say two relative to the 10 that I took, right? But let's say, actually, now that I think about it, that's kind of stupid. I'm sorry, guys. If I really had a $30,000 account, why would I only buy 10 options? I, it would make sense for me to buy a um, hundred, actually. That would have made more sense and sold 80 of the options at 31 to make $800 and then sell the rest to make... um a couple thousand or a thousand that would have made more sense but on a day like today you would only want to I, 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 really, I really would like to know how many contracts Adam Mancini uses on a day when he knows it's going to trend or he has a good feeling as opposed to how much he uses um, on the days that are he expects chop and I think he has said it before where he'll size down to like 25% or even 10% of his normal position. So if, if you would normally get 100 options um, on a day where you feel a strong trend is inevitable, then you would only get 10 options on a day like, like today where you expect chop. So if I would get 10 options on a big day, then I should only get one option or two options today. So again, if I had gotten in at 20, I would get in at two options at 20 and sell both here at 31 to make 20. I guess that makes sense. So, but as I'm talking, it, it still looks like there's pressure pushing this up. So it is possible by later on today, we may break past this uh, supply zone. If we don't though, I have a feeling this is gonna have to pull back and fall down further maybe retest this trend again, but I doubt it. I think this trend has been, price has been riding this trend most of pre-market and on Sunday evening. So chances are we're gonna fall and probably have to retest the daily. Why do I have two dailies here? Anyways, all right, again, this video is getting too long, sorry. All right, I'm just gonna make a smoothie for breakfast. I did. I'm gonna try and see if I can cut back on food a bit this week. When I went to Whole Foods, actually, I saw one of my former coworkers, a nice guy, older guy, really smart. And um, he's like, man, you're looking good. You've lost a lot of weight. <laughs> I was like, I said, yeah, that's what all guys want to hear that are getting small. Uh, and poor guy, he's like, no, no, no. I meant like, you know, like good. You know, it's good. You, you, you you're slimming up. You're looking fit. But he's right. I. I, I don't weigh myself, I don't have a scale, but I've definitely been eating less and less, um, generally one meal a day, and um, I, my, my smoothies are smaller than they used to be, I used to pack more stuff in them. Uh, when I make my oatmeal smoothie, I put half the amount of oatmeal I normally would put. Anyways, you can see here we clearly broke past um, the supply that formed this morning and once again I don't, I don't know why I took off the or did I not even put I guess I didn't do it I didn't even put the 434 level here so this is um, resistance but actually it's not the major one the next one above at 4312 I think is supposed to be the major resistance but we've tested it again and I was wrong. Remember I said how if you're looking to go short, maybe this will be the time when we were coming down here and this was red. I was wrong, clearly. And I remember 
something that Adam Mancini said both in his newsletter and in his tweet. He every every weekend, which is why it's good to follow him on Twitter. Which, you know what? Um, let's let's try and find Adam Mancini's tweet. No, you know what? Forget it. Because I, I I don't even know. I I think it's at Adam Mancini, but it's not. There's like a number after it. Whatever. He said in his newsletter and in his tweet that a lot of people lose money because they are um, jumping the gun on shorting, I guess. And he said that you will know when it's time to short because it'll be very obvious. And I think what what makes it obvious is that you'll lose a major level. And I believe he also said in his newsletter that we can probably sell all the way down to I think he, I think he said like four two three five or four two three four or something like that. I don't know which where it was, and it would be perfectly fine. We will still be technically in a bullish market, and we can still turn around and rally even harder. And it would be a healthy pullback. I think he said. I don't remember where it was. He said that we can pull back to. I keep thinking it's four two forty or four two twenty something like that. But anyways, um. Going short at this morning, unless you're scalping, really isn't isn't wise. But we clearly blasted past this um, supply, and this would have been a great trade. Where this came back down, um, you could have got back in. And remember, when I, when I said if you got an 18 or 20, I said 20 if you put your stop loss at 17. So your stop loss would have been kicked in here. But if you didn't have your stop loss, uh, or if you Better yet, got in here again. It's another opportunity to get back in again at 20. And here we almost hit 40. So, and again, this could still push even higher. But it could also, by the time this candle closes, this could also be another supply being formed just under resistance. So that would probably indicate we might fall lower, but who knows. Um, the good news is if you're bullish on VIX, it looks like this wasn't a very hard bounce after all, and we may end up falling down more ish. More ish. Anyways, I need I need food. Okay, last video for the day. Um remember I said that the bounce on VIX might be a good spot to go short and let me back it up a bit. Uh, I might adjust this daily, but I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. <clears throat> but we did finally get a, a, a rejection or bounce from this um, megaphone, bottom of the megaphone, after all. Formed a clean supply, which was then retested, and it pushed down again, uh, which is bullish. It's bullish. So uh, despite that, that quick drop, we still um, recovered. And if you were going to go short, remember I was saying um, last week how sometimes when a level is lost, you want to wait for it to get retested to go short again. That kind of would have worked here, but there was no real follow through. So it just kept chopping sideways. Um, so I'm not sure what will happen here. Adam Mancini did tweet something and uh, I've just been um, a little bit busy, so I haven't quite gotten back to it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's not really much to report here. Just unfortunate. I didn't follow through with my plan, which was to wait for a retest of this level and then take it long. And that would have been an excellent trade. As you can see here, uh, one could have gotten in 17, 18, actually, no, it came back here. Sorry. Like I said, could have gotten 18 or 19 or 20 held and sold for 10 bucks here at 30. Or held a little bit longer and I don't know if, you know what didn't really go that much higher you would have to have taken a, a closer in the money option because this is the 430 strike and as you can see here we never quite made it to 430 came close but didn't quite make it there so once we formed this supply here it just was downhill so had you taken it short Okay, had you taken it short, 
on that second retest of the 4304 level and we just peeked over it um this this would have it's almost like the market had a bunch of cells sales or sell pressure here and needed to come back up to reclaim it i don't know i don't know i'm i'm rationalizing what's partially chaos here well i got an assignment i gotta finish so um this rejected and just fell so this would have been a good short you can see here if you had already placed uh, a cut of some puts here and you got in this is um one o'clock so one o'clock right after here let's say you didn't get in until uh 20 you decided to try and get in at 20 here you got in at 10 20 10 options and you held up until here which is 415 uh, well, I close it right about here so sometime before 415 I'm not sure which one for yeah you could have sold some of your positions here um, before we had this fake bounce at this level and then held a few runners so let's say you got in 10 options at 20 you sold I don't know um, well, we already hit 50 here, so whatever, who cares, whatever. You decide to sell eight of your positions at 51. So that's um, 50 minus 20 is 30 times 8, 240 bucks. No, yeah, 240 bucks. But you still had a couple options left, and you decided to hold on to those, and I don't know, you decided to get out at 120 here just to capture the, this drop and you sold the rest at 121 or whatever um, which obviously would be a little bit early but whatever I'm just saying you sold your last two at 121 you can add another 200 bucks 100 bucks each for the last two options so uh, in any case man this was not a good day and I gotta finish this assignment so I'll be uploading this later on this evening